In today's video, we're testing out different brands of ABS plastics, but the question probably shouldn't be which one's best, but should you even be 3D printing with ABS plastic at all in 2017? Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and welcome back to another video. So what I have here is a range of ABS plastics. So ABS is a type of plastic and it's one of the first plastics that was turned into filaments for the early desktop 3D printers quite a few years ago. And I think most of the reason for that is the larger Stratasys systems use ABS with a few other things for their filaments. So the industry saw ABS as a material that was being used for injection molding but also it was quite commonly available for uh, plastic welding rods were actually ABS. They're readily available and converting that into filament was quite an easy affair. But why should you 3D print with ABS? Well, it has a higher temperature resistance to PLA filaments and for a long time it was the go-to filament if you wanted something that was robust, durable and suitable for functional prototypes off your desktop 3D printer. The thing about ABS plastic is it's difficult to 3D print. It shrinks and it warps and it needs a heated bed and in most cases an actively or passively heated chamber to stop the part cracking apart and failing in all sorts of miserable ways, which is why you won't really see people 3D printing with ABS much anymore. But what I wanna go through today is a few brands of ABS and show you my results printing on the Up Mini 2, this little machine down here. The Up Mini 2 is one of my favorite little machines for printing high temperature materials and it prints ABS like a champ. So let's start with this. This is Hobby King brand ABS. It's the cheapest roll of filament I have in the workshop. It cost me $7.50 Australian dollars plus shipping per kilo. It's ridiculously cheap. And you'd think, okay, cheap ABS probably prints like complete garbage. Well, it doesn't actually, it actually prints pretty good. So the model I decided to use to test these filaments is this, it's a bunny with an infill lattice. It's actually quite challenging to print. And I originally designed it for the SLS test I sent to Formlabs, but I thought, you yeah, know, whatever, I'll try printing it in FDM. And to my surprise, the cheapest filament I own printed pretty much flawlessly. So the thing about ABS, this is printed at 0.2 millimeter layer heights. It doesn't look that fantastic. Detail resolution on ABS isn't so high because it's a bit kind of globby and the, the pigmentation of this filament isn't fantastic. But for an everyday ABS, yeah, I could print with this stuff all day. In fact, I actually bought a couple of rolls in different colors because it actually prints so well. The next ABS filament to test was this. This is Compositum Filament Series ABS. They reached out to me and asked if I could test out their rolls. And I said, sure, why not? The, uh, the roll's quite nice and the filament is actually quite nice, uh, quite nicely wound onto the spool. It's a weird kind of creamy off color. You're unlikely to find pure white ABS. It's quite hard to find, but the print actually came out really good as well. It actually looks a lot like the sort of color you get off the Stratasys systems. And if I was gonna print high quality ABS parts, I would probably go with this brand and this color. It came out good and the detail resolution is fine. Next to test was this roll of Matahacker's Silver ABS. They sent this to me quite some time ago and it's been open for quite a while. And again, this printed pretty decently. Unfortunately, uh, the, the spool holder design on the Up Mini 2 sucks terribly. So I have it piping in from the side and the, the bunny print has a few missed extrusion areas. I'm 99% sure that was because the filament was struggling to pull off the roll, not because the filament itself has any issues. But it's a nice gray, it doesn't really look silver to me, it looks gray, and it printed out good as well on the Up Mini 2. And just for a laugh, I tried to print with this. This is some ABS that I've had for a very long time. I actually found it in my old cupboard back at my parents' house, and it's from a high school I used to repair their printers, uh, and it's about seven years old. <laughs> um, it's all wavy, because I think it was rewound onto a different spool, um, and what just happened there is the biggest issue with it. It's gone kind of brittle. I don't know if it was always brittle. It might have a high percentage of hips, high impact polystyrene, but basically this is how far it got. Um, the print got this far, the rafts welded to it, and it looks kind of crap. 
So yes, filament can get damaged over time, even ABS, but as I said, the Matter Hackers roll has been out in the open for about a year, and this has been in a cupboard for several years. That's probably too much, but I wouldn't worry too much if you're printing stuff, at least semi-regularly. But why did I say you probably shouldn't even bother printing ABS in 2017? Well, it does have the higher temperature resistance to PLA, but it has humongous disadvantages. Like I said, it warps and it's not very UV stable. So some companies have brought out other filaments to try to get around that, like this. This is from Filamentum and it's known as ASA. It's like a, think of it as a UV stabilized version of ABS. It's used quite a lot in car bumpers or plastics exposed to the elements because it's much better in UV light than ABS. Unfortunately, in my experiences, the ASA, this is just the raft from it, seems to be a bit more kind of gummy or rubbery than ABS. And I don't know why, but it did end up detaching from the print surface with the same settings I was using, I recommended settings for it. And it did this. So the quality was actually quite good. Again, it's not gonna be as high as a sharp, clean PLA print that's been cooled quickly, but it did detach from the raft. Maybe a bit more temperature on the, on the bed would have helped it stay in place. But again, you're going to need a lot of heat and an enclosed chamber to print this material as well as ABS properly. I know people are gonna say in the comments, I print ABS all the time on my print bed, which is covered in glue stick or on glass. But really, realistically, if you're gonna print anything very tall or full size, your build volume, it's gonna warp unless your whole ambient temperature is quite high. It's why machines like the Stratasys systems have an actively enclosed build oven because they keep the heat in and stop ABS warping. But in my opinion, this is the real nail in the coffin for ABS plastics. This is a polycarbonate blend. It's actually from Polymaker called PC Max. And this is the rabbit I printed on it, again, on the Art Mini 2. It printed out perfectly, but the thing about PC Max is it's incredibly tough. If you, have, if you don't believe me, check out my video on using it to print gears in my combat robot recently for the competition in Australia. It actually worked. And just to demonstrate what I mean by the superior strength, I'm going to uh, see if I can break this bunny's ear off. So this is gonna be a delamination across the printing, uh, printing layers. Bam. So you can see how I mean about ABS actually not being that strong. Let's try it with the PC Max, shall we? Yeah, that took a lot of effort and it failed, but it failed at the tip, not down the bottom. PC Max is nuts in terms of its strength versus ABS, and it prints in the same conditions, just a slightly hotter extrusion temperature than you would with ABS. So why would you bother printing with ABS when you can print PC Max or other polycarbonate filaments? in the same situation. And Polymaker are definitely not paying me to say that at all. I love printing with this stuff. It's just really expensive. And yes, I get it. PC Max is a lot more expensive than this $7 a kilo ABS. And I do enjoy the fact that you can acetone smooth and acetone weld ABS prints together. That is useful. But the challenge of printing ABS, in my opinion, in 2017, just isn't worth it anymore. There's been so much research into high quality polymers for 3D printing that ABS has kind of been left to the wayside. It's an outdated filament and that's just what I think of it. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you took some information away from this video. And if you're new to 3D printing, I probably wouldn't try to print ABS to start with unless you really need the characteristics it has. I'll just go to PLA unless you have a machine dedicated to printing high temperature filaments like the enclosed Up Mini 2. And if you enjoyed this video and make this video and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews, hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a huge amount. And I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye. He has placed satellites into orbit.